Welcome to amazing Guatemala. Global Infusion is in Guatemala this month and we are working with an amazing contact. His name is Pastor Oseas and he has never had anybody come in from the outside in many, many years to help him with his church. We have the opportunity before us right now to be able to help him in many, many ways. We are excited to be able to work with him and as you can see, this is my first time to Guatemala. It is an amazing country. Look at the countryside behind me full of mountains. God has created a beautiful place right here. We are excited to be here and there's so many things that we have the opportunity to do. He's able to reach out to the youth, to the people on the street. Right now we just came from an area that's a, a village just outside of Chiquimula, which is where he lives. There are literally people starving to death. There's over 6,000 of them and he wants to come out here and be able to reach them not only with food but with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Him and his wife Jane are truly men and women and the leaders in his church, men and women after God's own heart. A great, great ministry, solid people of integrity, and we're going to be partnering with them and inviting teams to come down here, help build his church, help him with his outreach. There's a lot going on. That's this month. Next month, we are back in Mexico. We're going to have our annual pastors conference with Pastor Howell, where he invites pastors in the area and the whole state of Chihuahua to come. We do outreaches at night for the community. We're there to build his church. We do things in the summer with construction, VBSs for kids. Some of you have seen those videos. There's a lot that we're doing there, but this one is specifically targeting pastors and the people in the community. We want to be able to build that church, not just the homes around it, but spiritually infuse that area with the Holy Spirit and God's love and power. And we're doing that next month, so be praying for us then. The following month, don't forget, mark it on your calendars, October 12th to 14th in Tampa, Florida is Global Infusions Missions Conference. And this one is going to be amazing. We're going to have several of our contacts, believe it or not, all in the same building at the same time. You're going to hear from men and some women from around the world, indigenous people who are reaching their nation for Jesus Christ. These are the people that Global Infusion targets. They have a strategy for reaching their nation for Jesus. Some use medical work, some use evangelism, some use construction, some use pastor's conferences. Whatever we can do to be an asset, to hold their arms up and be a huge blessing to them, that's what we go in there and do. But for this conference, they're coming to us and you'll be able to hear it. So if you're in the Tampa area, if you're in Florida, make plans right now, October 12th to 14th. And if you're not from the state, we're traveling down, lots of people are traveling, it's going to be an awesome time. You're going to hear from these people who have solid goal hearts, just in love with God, love with their people. They have great plans for the destiny of their nation, truly, and you're going to hear a lot about what they do. We're going to open up opportunities like you've never seen before. We're going to introduce some new countries such as Guatemala, countries that you can come visit, some countries that you'll be able to do a lot of work in, support, have resources for. It's going to be a great, great thing. And uh, I just want to thank everyone from our last update that we sent out. We talked about some ways that you can help invest in the vision of Global Infusion. One of the things I talked about was prayer. We need a lot of prayer because right after that pastor's conference in October, we're on our way to India. Almost 10 days later, we'll be in India doing an amazing pastor's conference right there. We need prayer for these things. There's always teams going in and out and we're thankful for those who do pray. And if we ever come to your minds, just pray for Global Infusion because you never know where we're going to be. We could be in countries like this, Guatemala. We're meeting with high up people there. Think of strategies and ways that we can help those who are literally starving. And for us, between the pastors, we're trying to find out ways that we can bring the gospel into these people. So you can pray, 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 pray for us. And financially support. In order to help them, we need your support right here. In, uh, in the states for our office, for our administration. And a lot of you have responded even after that last video. We, we so appreciate that. Some of these men and women of God have no voice to the outside, no voice for resources. And we have become that voice. And we are, are, are considering many, many options of people that we can go to. But we are trusting God to connect us with those who have a heart for Him, a strategy to reach their nation, and those who see results. And we need financial support for our office in the United States as well. I'd like to thank those who are already monthly partners with us. And even after last month's video, we had some new uh, giving coming in. I'd like to thank those who responded. 
There's many of you that I know have resources and can tap into resources to really lift this vision off the ground. Let us go into more nations, find more people like Pastor Hoseas. We would have never found out about this had we not traveled down here with our little team to be able to make a difference. We're doing services here with him and his church, building up his church. We can do so much more. We're only limited by resources and what God opens before us. So you can be a part of that. You can also go to the churches that you attend and speak to your pastors, those who are involved in outreach, and talk to them about mission opportunities. We would love to send you a Global Infusion representative to talk to your pastor about how your church can get involved in amazing opportunities like this. They could come here, a group of youth, college, college folk, uh, singles, couples. We do multi-generational trips. Our back-to-back -back teams that we just came back from in Mexico had those as young as 12 and 13 and those into their 40s and 50s. It doesn't matter your age. Everybody has different gifts and there's many opportunities to be able to use that. So if you speak to those people in your church who can make those decisions, inform us, let us get connected with them because, because there's a great, great need in some of these nations that we can definitely use help on. Everything from those who are health professionals, educators, construction foremen, people who are natural born evangelists, teachers and leaders. And if you say, well, I don't have any of those skills, trust me, there are plenty of opportunities for you to bring the gospel in different ways. Our plans right now, we were just talking about it, is to come back here to Guatemala and literally bring food up into these mountains to the people who are starving. It's an, it doesn't take a, a university degree to do that. It just takes those who are in love with the Lord, have a love to get up out of their own country and come to those who are in need and bring the gospel of Jesus Christ. Which is the last thing you can do. You can pray, you can financially support us, you can tell your church about what we're doing and get them involved, or you can come. Many of you have known us and known uh, what Global Infusion does for some time. A lot of you have taken that opportunity. You've taken that opportunity to, to travel to other nations, but I challenge you, if you've gone, come again. If you haven't gone, these are incredible trips that we do that you are literally ministering to people one-on-one -on -one, and the doors of opportunity continue to open. And I just pray right now in Jesus' name that God is even touching some of you to come onto the mission field in a short-term basis to be able to use your skills, use your love, use what God has put inside your heart to be able to touch people who some have never heard the gospel. And it's an opportunity that is quickly passing. We don't know what the future holds, so I just challenge you right now. There are many ways to get involved in world missions. Through Global Infusion and what we're doing, we have so many chances, so many opportunities for you to get involved. Life can get very, very busy, but I do challenge you. I do challenge you through your prayer time. Just ask God, what can I do to be involved with Global Infusion? Be involved with this vision that is touching literally thousands of people's lives through many ways. There is a place for you. There's something that you can do to build this vision, to be a part of it, to touch a life, to touch a family. And this is only possible, not through just one or two people, but through you, through your family, through your church, through your business, people providing the resources of finances, human resources, talents and gifts. There's many ways that you can have uh, an opportunity to reach out into nations like Guatemala, other nations that we work in, to be able to reach people with the love and power of Jesus Christ and change this generation forever. You can be a tremendous blessing by sponsoring one of our contacts at the Global Infusion World Missions Conference or any of the other projects mentioned in this video. Please send all donations to Global Infusion P.O. Box 3178, Brandon, Florida 33509. Or you can give online at www.globalinfusion.org or by calling 813-810-7585.